as you said, Ken- Kenyans gave me jilad. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's we, how we, we say it. You know the yeah, haji. <laughs> yeah, I stopped correcting. You know, I'm like cool, embraced. Uh-huh. Uh, thank you. But yeah, I'm gilad. Like you said, I'm a father of of two, uh, married. Uh, I've been in Kenya now. I'm a Kenyan citizen, an Israeli citizen, mm-hmm. uh, originally from Israel. Been here uh, about 20 years on and off. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I came here first as a diplomat, uh, came back again as a corporate executive working in agribusiness, mm-hmm. uh, switched to music at some point, stayed with music, then um, kind of got bored with just doing one thing and went on. And I have a PR agency called Milo Communications, mm-hmm. done a lot of stuff that you might have seen on social media with famous influencers and stuff. And um, lately in the last few years, also of a successful garlic farmer and, and working in that field. And yeah, you know, musician and and uh, like a good Kenyan, I hustle yeah. and I do a whole bunch of stuff. You <laughs> no, know, you, you can't be a Kenyan with just one job. It yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. it doesn't work like that, right? <laughs> but why garlic? I, I know it's an interesting like segue, but why garlic? Um, it, it kind of happened, you know, like many things in your life, it kind of walked into my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, my partner uh, in this endeavor, uh, the the company is called Ole Raha, mm-hmm. uh, and the farm is out in Isinia. And and uh, he comes from garlic and he's an expert in garlic. And we met, made friends, and he's like, I'm going to start this project. It was right around COVID. Mm. And I said, you know, he came to me for advice on agriculture. And instead I said, let's do 50-50. Yeah. And uh, so we ended up doing that. And now, you know, fast forward almost four years, we have over 200 farmers growing. We buy back, we sell the seeds, we give training, knowledge. Mm-hmm. And um, garlic is this incredible crop that Kenyans are just in love with. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we, we import imports from china which are just not even close to as tasty or as good or as quality Mm -hmm. um not to mention supporting kenyan farmers yeah so so it's a growing thing and and you know we're just growing more and more and more and the the, the number of farmers is growing and the quality of the kenyan garlic the african grown garlic that we're growing is awesome it's true because you could use five bulbs of the imported stuff for what one bulb of the kenyan stuff can do so true it's so true yeah um but back to the music are you tell me about the Permanent Presidential Music <laughs> Commission, because that's a, a lot of thing. Uh, that's something a lot of people don't know about, right? But you have a new song out with, uh, of course, Nazizi and Wairi, mm-hmm. um, and it's and called Champion, right? And yeah. it's ta- you know, it's about being a Kenyan champion. Yeah. But when people say Permanent Presidential Music Commission, who is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so th- just before I address that, since you did mention Naz, mm. um, yes, um, of course, our Nazizi, yeah, her, her, yeah, her, 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 her son Jazz passed away. I'm, uh, uh, I haven't spoken to her, uh, chatted with why a bit and we were together around the song and i got to meet uh jazz uh and just heartbroken i mean i and we i saw uh, uh Waira's post last night and and massive shout out huge love to nazizi she can't imagine what she's going through mm-hmm. the the uh, he was her life uh from the time we spent together in the studio and and in the rehearsals for jamahuri day he was her life and and you know just sending her all energy and love and and just uh you know, stra- let her be strong and get through it, her and her and Adam and, and, and the family. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so, so you know, back to your question, PPMC called out of nowhere the uh, presidential, uh, permanent presidential music commission. Um, uh, VDJ Space, who, who was producing the song and, and approached me to uh, uh, jump in with Johnny Scani and, and uh, Naz and, and Waire on this incredible song, which, I mean, you know, for me, I really wanted to be Kenyan. Everybody knows it's not a secret. I waited mm-hmm. six years since applying. And then in 2021, when I became a citizen, I posted and mm-hmm. got a lot of love from the whole country. And, and um, to be approached and get that kind of legitimacy on a song which celebrates Kenyan champions, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then to be invited to perform it, leave alone the music video where you have Zarika and you have Wanyonya and you have all these heroes in the video. Um, but then... To be on stage in front of the country, in front of the president, um, humbling in, in, in an incredible way, um, you know, valid dreams in an incredible way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, and the song, w- which is the best part of it, has got this crazy reggae beat. Uh, Johnny Scani, who, who, you know, I- is where the song began from Mombasa. He's just a crazy talent. And, and I don't have to mention, you know, working with Necessary Noise and, and Waire yes. Nazizi is, I mean... Uh, I grew up in the Kenyan music industry, so to speak, listening to their music. Mm. So it was a massive honor. And, you know, like I said, you know, our dreams are valid to stand like that and sing champion on Jamhuri Day. True. Was just a dream come Alongside true. Alongside legends, uh, Maida 